guys, today I will teach you all how to hide your wireless network SSID and how to find a hidden network through a software called Insider. Here we go. First of all, I will show you all how to hide the wireless network SSID. Now, we need to connect to our wireless network, which is D-Link. For the security, network security key, we need to type in our password and just click next and it will successfully to log in. Actually, SSID is a services identifier. Now, we need to key in 192.166.0.1 in the web browser. For the username, we just need to key in admin and log in. Then, we need to press the wireless setup and find the manual wireless connection setup. Then, find the enable hidden wireless to take it. And save system to enable hidden SSID. SSID is also referred to as a network name because essentially, this is a name that identifies a wireless network. After that, I will teach you all how to find a hidden network. Now, we need to download a software called Insider. Insider have a two version for us to download, either it's for Windows or Mac. Then, uh, as you can see, now we show the uh, Insider interface. The features of using this is to figure wireless connection details. Insider was created by MetaGrid. Insider is a free open source Wi-Fi scanner that tracks the SSID, signal strength, security, and other settings of nearby access point. If there is a hidden network, they have a link icon beside the network address or uh, network name. Which is uh, just now, as you can see, D Link is our hidden network, so that beside the D Link has the link icon. For the channel part, actually, channel is the wireless network operator on a specific Wi Fi channel. Channel 1 until 14 are in the 2.4 GHz frequency range, while channel 30 until 160 are in the 5 GHz range. For the signal part, is coverage the lesser the signal the greater the coverage for the PHY type is separate into two categories which are 2.4 gigahertz and 5.0 gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz is actually for BG and N and for the 5.0 gigahertz is for A and AC now we go further a bit we click the D link and as you can see, they have shown the MAC address channel same like just now. And if you want to see more detail a bit, you can click the MAC address there for the D link. And you can see for the figure in the left side, they have a white cover there that show the D link in the the D link channel is in the vertical part as you can see 2 until 10 and for the signal is shown on the horizontal part in the left top side they have a radio as you can click it and you can see the radio signal and all the channel max date rate and vendor there but they have a very good recommend in the for the channel, which is 11. Actually, the default uh, channel is 4 plus 8, but the recommend is uh, 11. Why the, the channel will have two numbers? Sometimes Insider may place two numbers in the channel column, which is indicated that a network is using channel bonding. If you guys want to follow the recommend channel, you guys can change it and configure it in the router configuration. Go back to our uh, dealing default page 
and you guys can go to the same place as manual wireless connection setup and enable the auto channel selection and tick it and choose the wireless channel that recommend by insider and save the setting okay and it will run it through successfully uh, after a while here is my presentation thank you for watching hope you all enjoy it